So with all the buzz about the Oscars this year, you've probably no doubt seen these promo images popping up all over the place. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's just a black and white image with gold text. And a lot of people have been asking how to do this uh, gold foil looking text thing. And so that's what I'm gonna show you today. So we're gonna jump over to Photoshop. And I've already picked up a black and white image of uh, Leonardo because he has yet to actually win an Oscar and I'm hopeful this year that he does because I think he does really good work so all right so getting back on track uh, there's a couple of things that we need to do uh, the first is we need to uh, type in what was on uh, the Oscar image here it says we all dream in gold so let's go ahead and go in Photoshop we'll select our text tool and we'll type in we all dream in gold. Alrighty. And this font, uh, I changed the color to make it white just so I can see it for the time being. Um, but this font I found on dafont.com and I'll have a link down in the description so you can go check it out. It's a free font that you can use. Uh, so if I select this here, it's called Cheddar Jack. So just go to defont.com, type in Cheddar Jack, and download that. Uh, so now we have our text, and I am going to click here. I'm going to put the put it just like this. So I have two lines. I'm actually going to make that a little bit bigger too, since it's taking up the two lines. I'm going to separate them a little bit more too. Just a little bit of division between that L. There we go. Alrighty, and I think what I'm going to do also is rotate this a little bit. So we've got our uh, text layer selected. I'm just going to hit Command and T, and that'll pop up this little box. If you kind of hover on the outside of a corner, you see this little arrow um, that's kind of going around both ways. If you click that, you can twist and rotate. So I'm just going to rotate a little bit there and hit Enter. And now we need to turn this text gold. All right, so the first thing we need to do is have some kind of a gold image uh, to use as kind of like a backdrop for it or a background. So we're gonna go to Google, and all I did was just type in gold background. That's it. And then I found this second one here. It's a good size, it's 3,500 by 2,800, so it's a decent size there. So I've already downloaded a copy of that go back to Photoshop and then I just need to take that picture and I'm just going to drag it on top and from here you want to make sure that the gold is completely covering your text and then you'll hit enter and now this is the easy part you just go over to your layer here and if you hit alt and scroll down to this line right here and the line that separates this layer and this layer, if you just hover your mouse over it and hit Alt, you'll get this little box with the arrow pointing down. You just, uh, once you see that, you click, and then it'll put the gold back behind your text. Now the cool thing about this is if you select the, the gold layer, you can still do Command T to allow it to free transform, and you can still adjust the size of this uh, if you wanted to and so if you go back and look at this uh, gold image you see it's darker over here and it's lighter over here well you can use that to your advantage so if you want to make the text a little bit lighter there you go you just drag it over that way or if you want to blend it between the two colors you know a little bit darker over here and a little bit lighter here uh, or you can rotate it and it'll kind of give you like a gradient so it's a little bit darker here and it gradients up to to a lighter shade right there. Actually, I kind of like that. So I'm gonna leave that there, hit enter, and that's it. So we've now got our black and white image, and then we have our gold text above. Uh, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.